Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Parrot Bebop 2. To keep up with the latest on drones and see our flight testing of the Bebop, be sure to click subscribe. So opening up the box, we find two more boxes. The Bebop drone itself and the FPV pack. Let's start with the drone. So the first thing we see is a quick start guide. And there's the drone itself. And then check this out. There's a know before you fly guide right in the inside of the lid. So this is the first time I've ever handled the Bebop. And the very first thing I notice is how lightweight and flexible it is. The main body, which contains the battery and the camera, is riding on these four anti-vibration bobbins. That's smart because it should isolate the camera from the vibration of the motors. Also, the limbs themselves have a little bit of flexibility to them. That should also help dampen out vibration and should be good for surviving impacts. So on top of the motors, we have these yellow and blue rubber covers. I bet these correspond to the direction the motors turn and therefore, which propellers you mount on them. The camera housing is a thin plastic shell, which is flexible. And underneath, it's made of styrofoam. And here's the lens cover which is held in place by a rubber band. Okay, the lens itself. Obviously, this is a fixed camera. It uses a digital image stabilization system instead of a mechanical gimbal. You'll see how well that works in our flight test video, coming soon. On the back, there's a latch to release the battery, and also a USB port and the power button. Next, there's a small cardboard box. Inside, we've got a cable for charging the battery, a propeller mounting tool, and AC outlet adapters. Here's the battery charger. And we also get a total of eight propellers, two complete sets. The stickers correspond to the color of the motor covers. And that's it, the box is empty. Now let's see what comes in the FPV pack. So the first thing I notice is the controller, which looks suspiciously like a game controller with a giant patch antenna on the front of it. Parrot refers to this as the Sky Controller 2. In addition to the control sticks, we have the power button, the automatic takeoff automatic landing button, the configuration button, and a return to home button. The A button takes a still photo and confirms a menu selection, and the B button starts recording video and steps backwards on a menu. We also have knobs and triggers at our fingertips for making adjustments to camera and display settings. Next up, we have the FPV goggles, but this is just an empty box with a head strap and a pair of lenses built in. The screen is your smartphone, which fits inside this cartridge. Here, we have a holder for your smartphone or tablet, which you can mount on the controller if you prefer that to the FPV experience. This box contains an A to micro B USB cable, as well as a charging cable for the controller. Finally, we have the printed manual. First, let's get the battery charging, so it's ready to go flying when we are. It takes about 55 minutes to fully charge the battery. You also use the same unit to charge the controller, but you can't charge them both simultaneously, so plan ahead. Now, let's get the controller ready to go. You'll need a smart device running either the Android or iOS operating system to receive video and telemetry from the Bebop 2. Mount the device holder on the controller, then go ahead and download and launch the app. It's called Free Flight Pro. Like Autel or DJI, you connect the controller to your device using a USB cable. Plug it into the jack on the side of the antenna. I can already see one problem with this design, at least if you're using a tablet. The device completely obscures your view of the controls, now, I'm sure with some practice that won't be an issue, but for people who are new to flying parrot drones like me, that could lead to some scrambling. Power up the controller with a quick touch of the power button. A blinking red light means either the controller is trying to connect with the drone or its battery is low. Power up the drone by pressing the power button, which doubles as an indicator light, and it is very bright. Flashing means the drone is booting up. Once it's established a link with the controller, 
It glows steadily. Also, the light on the controller turns green. You will likely see a notification telling you you need to calibrate the compass before you go flying outdoors. And we'll show you how to do that in the next video. After we acknowledge that, we get live video from the aircraft. And the latency appears to be pretty good, among the best I've seen with HD video downlinks. In addition to live video, the smart device provides us with telemetry and a few controls. In the upper left corner, the gear icon allows us to configure the aircraft, changing settings that affect its flight performance, as well as maximum altitude and distance, fail-safe return to home, camera settings, and more. Across the bottom of the screen, we have aircraft telemetry, including speed, altitude, and distance to home, as well as the battery condition of the controller, the aircraft, and a signal strength indicator. The process of mounting the propellers is different than any other drone we've ever tested. The propellers come in two colors, white and black. Parrot intends for you to put the white ones on the front of the aircraft and the black ones on the back of the aircraft. But near as I can tell, this is only so it looks cool. What matters is which way the propellers turn. And that's why both the motors and the propellers come with these color-coded markers, which make it easy to get right when you do this the first time. Half the propellers have a hole in the center, and those go on the motors with this little knob. The ones without the hole go on the motors without the knob. To mount, line up the three holes on the propeller with the three screws on top of the motor and push down. Then, use this tool to hold the motor steady as you twist the propeller into place. So that was our first look at the Bebop 2 from Parrot. Click subscribe so you'll be sure to catch our flight testing video coming soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.